so uh, this is Osama Gazel and this tutorial we're gonna be talking about speed ramping on Adobe Premiere Pro but before that let me just give you a brief about myself so this is pretty much like my first tutorial in my entire life not just YouTube uh, but this is going to be my third YouTube video so if you guys want to see what I'm doing I have two more videos on my channel you can go and check and let me know if you guys like it well, uh, just a quick notice, I'll be translating this video into Arabic. Uh, the reason is because I'm Canadian Egyptian. So that's probably why you guys found my accent a little bit odd. <laughs> Excuse that. Um, and actually, a bunch of my friends told me if you're going to be doing this, hey, why not translate it into Arabic so more people can watch and understand what you're talking about. So I thought, hmm, might be a good opportunity to share my uh, videos with more people so yeah I guess uh, that's everything for now and let's get started all right so there are actually two ways to uh, apply the speed ramping effect in Adobe Premiere Pro the first one is by actually using the pen tool so I have first to go to the clip right click it choose show clip keyframes time remapping and speed now I can go to my pen tool set a marker on the black line in the middle of the clip and this black line actually indicates the default speed of the clip which is 100% as you guys can see over here and the reason it's 100% is that we didn't change anything yet and it has to remain the same so now as I set my marker I can switch back to my selection tool and start grabbing this line all the way up to the desired speed and let's say I'm gonna set it up at roughly 700 let's check that out yeah it works well it worked very well now go into the second clip we're gonna do exact the same thing right click going all the way down to show clip keyframes time remapping speed and using the pen tool again set a marker and grabbing the black line all the way up to match the first clip now we have speed ramping transition applied between two clips and it looks great. Another way to actually use uh, the speed ramping effect is by using the R key on my keyboard. But before using that, I just have to undo everything in order to get my clips ready for the second method. But before clicking the R key, there is something we have to do. Um, actually we have to kind of deciding what part we want to apply the speed ramping effect onto and doing that without having the pen tool keyframes we can actually use the razor tool or just hit C on the keyboard in order to cut the clip into two separate clips now we have the part that we want to speed ramp hit R and drag it all the way back and now it's already done go into the second clip razor tool cutting it into two separate clips hit r and drag it back and now we have the same speed ramping effect applied on both clips looks nice and we can actually speed it up a little more to look nicer and actually guys, uh, there is something I'd like to tell you. Uh, it looks, it makes you look more professional. So instead of every time just grabbing the sequence or the clip in order to snap it to uh, the previous one and organize your entire footage, you can just click on the space between the clips and hit the back key on your keyboard and it just looks more professional. Uh, so now we have a speed ramping effect done by the second method which is the R key on the keyboard uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I would really like to see your comments and thoughts in the comment section below if you have any idea or any effect that you want me to analyze and uh, explain please let me know uh, you can subscribe to my channel just to keep yourself aware of my uh, next videos and you can also follow me on Instagram uh, to see my latest videos and you can find the link 
down in the description and I will be looking forward for your comments and feedback guys. Thank you so much and see you next time.